What's up, guys? Today, we're going to talk about some cleats. We've got the latest and greatest from Nike and New Balance for your upcoming 2023 season. Uh, Universal Lacrosse sent these over for us to check out and talk about, so let's go. All right, guys, so let's talk about the New Balance Freeze uh, 4, V4, version 4. First, these things have gotten some really nice upgrades over the years, uh, but the upgrade, uh, I think it happened one or two versions ago, were these uh, these cleats on the sides that, that flare outward for directional change and uh, and grip, you know, that they're fantastic. Um, most of the kids I've ever coached have had some freeze at some point and always love them. You know, they're fantastic cleats, um, low or low and high love the look there were some issues a couple years ago with cleats coming off like a center cleat here they've just gotten rid of that cleat and now it's all kind of one piece construction down here which is great uh, we had i think we had three or four kids on our team actually it was four or five who the center cleat popped off and i just sent them some pictures you know and they responded right away by sending us a box of cleats very cool new balance is responsive to issues uh, but I don't think you'll get any issues with this, at least not the same issues. These things are light, you know, and they are, I mean, if you've had any uh, freeze cleats on in the past, you know that they're comfortable. Um, wider feet, good for freeze. You know, they're kind of a wide, wider look or wider profile. It's not a profile. I don't know what it is. I'm not a real shoe guy. Like, I don't even know. Like, I know that's a toe box, but I don't know the other parts of the parts of the shoes except the cleats but i'm just saying you know telling you what i do know and these are comfortable cleats uh real lightweight the low top comes in at 114.99 for you guys who like them low the high top it's not so much a high top it's more like a three quarter uh you skateboarders from the past know that the half cabs kind of changed you know the the world with that three quarter top um i guess chucka boots and things did it too but the first performance shoe that was three quarter, I think it was the half cab. I could be totally wrong. But anyway, this is what I wouldn't consider this a high top. It's a, it's a three quarter, it's a mid, but you know, a little extra ankle protection. They're both padded around the Achilles. Um, nice straps. This is a nice big strap to crank them on, which is helpful with a high top or a higher top. I should say these are one nineteen ninety nine, So one fifteen, one twenty. great options, beautiful cleats. Really like this look, the silver, silver N, a little N there. Uh, my kid loved his freeze. He eventually moved away from him into a Nike, but was a big fan of the freeze. So that's the New Balance freeze. Great, great cleats. I had these on in the house. I was going to do some B-roll footage of out on a field, uh, but these are brand new and they're going back to Universal. I didn't want to get them dirty because it is pouring rain here in California. Also, I didn't want to get wet. It's been, ra been raining for days. All right, next we've got the Hirachi 8 Elite, the Nike Hirachi 8 Elite. This is a beauty. This is also like a, a high top, um, a little heavier than the Freeze, but you know, not substantially. Really cool, what do you call that? Insole, cleat, base plate. It looks like some kind of alien skin. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some pictures to show you because that is cool looking. A um, little more narrow. Seems a little more streamlined. Narrow cleats were bad for me when I was young because my ankles, they like to roll. So I needed a broader base and high tops or ankle braces uh, when I played sports. But these, you know, you'll be able to crank them real tight. It's got the sock top. I don't know if that's what you call it. Like I said, not a shoe guy, um, but it's got that, you know, these are great for keeping turf pellets out of your shoes, which is super annoying. Um, the cleats my kid wears now. So these are the cleats my kid wears now. Nike Vapor Elites, maybe, Vapor Elite. Uh, they were customized. We put his number on it and his name over here, Ladine. Um, but these were cool. And sock tops, he loved these cleats. He made the mistake of um, wearing tennis shoes out to a practice this last fall. Some ultra boosts, and it was just too soft, hurt his foot. 
and his foot was kind of hurting already, but so that uh, ended his season. So, you know, don't make that mistake. Wear stiff, stiff shoes. Uh, stiffer is better for this plate. Might not seem like it. You know, you might seem like you might get more response on cuts with a little more of a flimsy base plate, but it's hard on the feet, so don't make that mistake. Anyway, sock top, really cool. Uh, you could crank these up being a little taller than the, than the freezes. Maybe not. Maybe about the same height. Three-quarter high. So these have the Nike React technology, which I think is the the de high density foam under the foot which reduces pressure from the studs up sometimes you know you can feel that in cleats uh, they have what's called active containment which if you've worn cleats that your foot moves around a lot in it's miserable uh, you just you're getting weird pressure on different parts of your foot so apparently in the heel area and maybe yeah the heel area mostly it's got this active what did i say active containment so it locks that foot in place. Uh, great for you know, directional changes. Your foot's not slipping inside of the cleat. That's how you get blisters. Um, so this, I love that idea. They are comfortable, you know, and you can really crank them tight. The uh, the toe box has this rubber that comes around the whole toe. Do they all? No. So the the freeze don't have any kind of differentiation from the toe box to the the cleats. Um, these have kind of a, a rubberized toe area to, I guess, lengthen life, uh, make them a little more durable. And these, I, I, they say they break in quickly. Uh, you know, like you, like I said, you wanna you wanna have that stiff base plate. You really don't want them breaking in like to become flimsy. But none of these will do that. But apparently, you know, your uppers, you want them to break in fit your foot apparently it happens pretty quick the um the sock top the the fabric top it it's integrated with the tongue so there's no tongue slippage at all like that feature the freeze has a tongue but it's secured right up near the top so there's no tongue slippage tongue slippage is kind of a thing of the past most shoes cleats have uh tongues that are attached way up the shoe so it used to be when we were kids tongues would go down and end up under your foot that's a thing of the past which i don't miss that was a that was a bummer so these nike alpha harachi 8 elites they come in at 129.99 so buck 30 for those sick looking cleat my goodness that's a beauty really love that foot bed nope foot bed's inside i don't know Whatever you call this part of the cleat, I like that. That's cool. This is the Hirachi 8 Varsity. So this is the lower end of the prices that you'll find. I think this one is $89.99. Um, kind of a simple cleat, but real clean looking. It's got the more durable toe box. Um, it's kind of a straightforward cleat bed. I'm just making stuff up now. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, it's got a separate tongue, but again, it it's connected right up to about here, so there won't be any slippage. Uh, seems durable. Um, these are comfortable too. Uh, short break in time apparently, but again, pretty stiff. You know, a little less stiff than the other, the higher end ones, but you know, fantastic cleat, especially for the money. Uh, Eighty nine dollars is not unreasonable for a cleat that'll last you more than a season, maybe two, depending on how fast you're growing. Good value, good cleat. All right, this is the Hirachi 8 Pro. This one has that really cool cleat base, like the uh, 8 Elite, but with some splashes of color. The, the cleat tips are blue, a little pink Nike swoosh there, kind of a splatter paint uh, theme going on with the swoosh here and the, the base. Uh, nice little splash of color there on your, on your loop. What do you call that? Grab loop? Hoink? You call this the hoink because you hoink them up there. The Hirachi 8 Pro is $99. Um, the footbed or the the insole? Insole? Is that an insole in there? Probably. Really nice. Uh, hard rubber, not hard rubber, but like a black rubber 
uh, on the heel, but super cushiony. These are, again, stiff like these three, a little less, a little more so than this one. This, like I said, this is the least stiff. Um, again, it's going to have the quick break in like the other ones, the other Nike. I don't know how the, the New Balance break in. feels like they would break in about the same as these. But a selling point of Nike this year is their break in time, which you know, it really is. New cleats are hard. They're hard on the feet. Uh, once you get the, the toe box right and the whatever this area is to fit your weird shaped feet, you know, once it sort of molds in, you're good to go. But that first week or so can be a, a problem. They're all relatively the same comfort wise, but the two high tops are that's what I would go for. I like high tops. I always wore high tops in football. Uh, I even wore high tops in baseball. I just needed that extra ankle stability. And, you know, fighting for ground balls in lacrosse, it's nice to have a little bit of protection on those ankle bones. You know, as a skater in the 80s, you know, we were still wearing high tops exclusively. Uh, eventually, they people moved into the half cabs and then and then low tops you know low top i skated in low top vans if i was just cruising but you know if we were skating vert or really you know rails or whatever we wore high tops because a board swings around and dings you on the ankle it's miserable so i talked to my kid about these he's a he, he was like what these are so much nicer than what i have his are beaten up and been through it but when these were brand new they were they were gorgeous um, wow, the silver really comes off. But he and he gravitated toward these. These were his favorite. He loved those, and I don't remember what the other one. He, I think it was the low, the freeze lows. He's a low guy. He likes the low tops. But these are kind of the. I wouldn't say these are three quarter because it's really just the sock top that that makes them seem three quarter. Those are actually lows. So you, you can't go wrong with any of these guys. Uh, you know, if you're looking for, for value, you want to save a few bucks, that's a beautiful cleat that will run you 89, what did I say? Yeah, 89.99. 10 bucks more, you get a little flare. These things are cool looking. Um, what are they, the Hirachi 8 Pro. This is the Hirachi 8 Varsity. This is the Hirachi Alpha Hirachi 8 Elite. And these are the New Balance Freeze 4s in low and high. Uh, 115, 120, 129, yeah, 130, 89, 90, basically, and 100. I, uh, I'm a big fan of all these. I can't tell you how they will last. I know my kid wore these for two seasons, his down there, two seasons, and they're still, they don't look the best, but they are still, they haven't, there's zero, zero weak points where they're falling apart. So that's something for Nike. He's a, he's a hard moving attackman. He, he cuts pretty hard, runs pretty hard. And so the fact that there are no there's no there's no place on this cleat that's falling apart. I think that is a testament to Nike's uh, manufacturing and how well they put things together. Um, before those Nikes, my kid did have freeze, and it wasn't the freeze with the cleat that fell off. It was the maybe it was the threes two. I don't know what it was, but those were going to last forever too. Um, so all these are really well made, really comfortable. I think if I had to pick the most comfortable, I would go the ouch. I would go this one, which is the Alpha Hirachi 8 Elite. For me, that was the most comfortable. Uh, looks, I, I think that's my favorite, followed by the, the Freeze, and this was my kid's favorite. Beautiful cleats all around. You can't go wrong with any of these. Guys, if you have any specific questions, I'm gonna, before I send these back, I'm gonna hang on to them. Um, just for a week or so. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Um, I'm not going to take them outside, I, I think, because these will go uh, back for sale at, at Universal. I don't want to get them all muddy or 
or covered with black turf pellets or anything. So I'm just going to, if I put them on again, it'll be on the, on the carpet in my house. Um, but yeah, Universal, thanks for sending these over. These are fantastic cleats. Let's see if I can get all of them. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, Nike and uh, New Balance. Always, always making good-looking cleats. Lacrosse-specific cleats. That's always fun. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, go read more about these on uh, Universal's website. You know, they'll have all the details. Um, go to uh, New Balance. You know, get the get the company line, Nike. Get the company line. Read about them. Um, go try them on if you can. You know, always that's the best option because you don't always know if your size is right in a specific shoe. So if you get the chance to go to a, a brick and mortar to get them on your feet, I would recommend that. But you know, we're early enough preseason that if you order them, it's the wrong size. You can send them back and, and get the right size. So act fast. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.